Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to today's English lesson. Today we're going to talk the text. This is the last stage of our planning where you've done all that lovely planning, and now we're going to talk through our stories. We're not writing today. Today's talking through, so make sure we fully understand what we're going to start writing next week. Today you're going to need someone to talk to, an adult, a sibling. You're going to need someone for this one. You can't do this one on your own. So make sure you go and find someone to talk to. So here was the first thing from my plan. I had these four main points in section one. Tiberius didn't like the animals eating the forest flowers. He hunted them day and night. People told him to stop his animals were a gift from the gods. Tiberius ignored them. Obviously, I can't write that in my myth because they're not interesting sentences. They're just plans. In order for me to be able to write it, I have to know in my head what it is I'm going to write first. I can't just go straight from the plan and hope I get it right. So what I'm going to do today is a really important step where I'm going to talk the text. I'm going to tell my story to somebody else. They're going to give me feedback. Then I'm going to improve my telling of that story. They might then give me some more feedback and I will improve it again. Every time we get feedback, we improve the story a little bit. And the better the story is in our head, the better the writing is going to be. So this may not seem like a really important step, but it is an absolutely vital step. The more you talk about the story, the more in your head you know exactly what you're going to write, the easier it's going to be next week. And if it's easier, then the quality is going to be much more improved. This doesn't work if you just talk to yourself. You have to talk to somebody else because you need someone to give you feedback. Now, if you remember what we talked about in class, you need some effective feedback. There's no point in someone just saying, wow, well done, that's wonderful. There's always something that could be better. You need to push them to give you some feedback on how to make it better. That feedback doesn't just have to be the skills. They could say, oh, have you got adjectives, any powerful verbs in there? I'm not really getting the characteristics of your person coming across there. But they could also be some ideas about, is a story interesting? Does it engage them? So you want to really focus on they are your audience, your parents or siblings or whoever it is you found at home to talk to you, not the guinea pig or the dog or the cat this time because they need to be able to talk back unless they can talk back to you, in which case that's amazing. But you need someone to actually talk back to you and give you some wonderful feedback today to really help you. So I've modeled for you exactly what you need to do. So make sure you're watching this with whoever's going to help you. And I didn't have someone here to talk to because I'm stuck at home on my own. So instead, I've had a conversation with the Gruffalo. So, Mr. Gruffalo, I'm going to tell you my story today, my Roman myth. Many years ago, there lived a man named Tiberius. He didn't like the animals in the forest eating all of his plants. One day, he decided to get his bow and arrow and to go out hunting to kill all the animals. All the people in the village told him not to because the gods would be angry, but Tiberius just ignored them. What do you think to my first paragraph, Mr. Gruffalo? That's a good start, Mr. Alloway, but as the audience, I wasn't very engaged with your story. You didn't tell me why Tiberius didn't like the animals and why he decided to kill them. And also, can you tell me why the villagers told him not to kill the animals? They are just animals. Thank you for the feedback, Mr. Gruffalo. How about this? Many years ago, in the land of the Romans, the gods gave the people the presence of animals. These animals provided them with food and shelters and clothing which they were able to wear when it got cold. One day, Tiberius decided that he had enough of these animals because they were wandering around the forest eating all the beautiful flowers. So he took his golden bow and arrow and stretched himself out into the woods finding all the animals he could, slaughtering them and storing them under the tree. The villagers around him cried out, Please, Tiberius, don't kill the animals. The gods will punish you. But Tiberius was so furious that these animals would munch down on all of his lovely plants that he just didn't care. I really enjoyed all that extra information, Mr. Alloway. Thank you. That really brought the story to life. I like how you told me that the, the animals were a gift from the gods. That really made me understand later on why the gods might be angry that he killed them. You also gave me a reason why he killed them because they were eating the flowers. And I love some of the powerful vocabulary you put in there. We had his golden bow and arrow and his beautiful flowers. However, I wasn't sure about the verbs you used in there. How do you stretch yourself out into the woods? I like slaughtered, but I don't think that stretch was a particularly good verb to use. 
Could you make some improvements with some better verbs and maybe some adverbs in there too to make it more interesting? Again, thank you, Mr. Gruffalo, for that feedback. Um, OK, let's try improving the verbs in there. So, many years ago, in the ancient times of the Romans, there were wonderful, amazing animals that were gifts from the wondrous gods. These gifts provided to people with warm clothing on a winter's evening, shelters to put over their head when it rained, and food to fill their bellies when they were starving hungry. However, one man, Tiberius, a cruel, horrible man, hated passionately these despicable creatures because they hungrily munched on his beautiful flowers. So one day he strolled forcefully out into the woods with his golden bow and arrow clutched tightly within his hands, ready to kill the animals. Every animal he found, he stabbed and he shot and he slaughtered them mercilessly until there were none left. The villagers cried out in dismay, Please, Tiberius, stop killing the animals. The gods will be furious with you. But he did not listen and he carried on slaughtering them menacingly. What do you think about this one, Mr Gruffalo? Good work, Miss Ralloway. I must have improved the vocabulary on that one. That was very interesting. I was really engaged with that story and I can't wait to hear what happens next. There's always room for improvement, but I feel it's time for you to move on to the next paragraph. Well done. Now that you've seen how it's done, it's your turn with an adult to talk through the text and make your story as good as you possibly can in your head. Remember, at this stage, you don't need to write anything. You're just talking through the text. But if you'd like to write something down or you'd like to adapt your plan, then you can do. So for the adults working with you, here are four types of questions you could ask. So these are not all the questions, but these are some of the feedback you could give. Were you engaged as an audience? If you weren't engaged as an audience, you weren't interested, could you make some suggestions as to how you could be more interested? Was there enough detail to keep you interested? Did you understand what was going on with the description and the detail? Or was the story a bit too vague and they need to add more information? Could the vocabulary be better, e.g. verbs, adverbs and adjectives? Was there descriptive language in there? Were the characters doing exciting things like stomping or thrashing or were they just walking and falling? Were there any adverbs in there? Was your character described in detail with those adjectives? Could you understand exactly who that character was the way they were described? And finally, were you able to understand the characteristics of the character through the description and action? So through the things that the character was doing and through the way that they were described, did you get the characteristics that your child was going for? If not, what could they do to improve it? So today's feedback really is helping them make that story better so that by the end of this, they can almost tell that story off by heart with quality sentences full of vocabulary, full of all these interesting ideas. They might not be able to retain all of it in their head, but they can talk through it. And you know what the story is as well for when they come to start writing it next week. So today there is no work to send back as this is just talking through the text with your child. This, as I said, is a really important part of the process. If the child's got this story in their head, they're going to find it a lot easier to write a high quality piece of work next week. They may not remember all of it, as I said, but the more they can do today, the more practice they have, the better it's going to be next week. There's nothing to send back, but if you want to send back a photograph of an edited plan or you want to send through a video of your child doing something, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I hope you really got on with this today and it will help when you come to your writing next week.